What's up YouTube, this is Sean, I am back, and in this video we are going to be working on some turtle heads, and I'm going to be using some craft foam, I picked these up from Hobby Lobby, it's 5 millimeters, and we're going to need about 3 sheets, and I've already traced it and cut it, there's a few pieces here that's going to need an inward angle cut, and I'm going to use a pair of scissors to cut the corner off of this edge, just like that. Now this will work for inward angle cuts and outward angle cuts. You just want to make sure that uh, with an inward angle cut that the uh, the angle goes inward of the pattern. And an outward angle cut would be the angle would go outward of the pattern. Now that I've got everything glued up and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and attach the cheeks together since it already wants to stick together on its own and I just realized I forgot my sheet of wax paper which makes things easier because my table is a little rough and using this wax paper makes it easy for me to make sure the uh, this the, the edges are nice and smooth together because I don't really like using what do you call that uh, quick sealant or something like that silicone I don't like really using that stuff on my my edges to smooth things out I think it does more damage than than it's worth so I don't even bother using it so I try to get my edges as close to perfect as possible and then I can just sand it off whatever's rough uh, and I'm, I'm not gonna get it completely perfect but you know what it's just cosplay and uh, yeah I'm just gonna go with it you know what I'm saying? Now I got the cheeks attached to the sides and the sides attached to the top. Now I'm attaching the eyebrow piece right there. And that one's got a inward angle cut too. So it'll give it a nice outward bevel. And then I'm going to put the uh, inner... Well this is like the jawline. The lower part of the, the helmet. I always like to do one side of the head before I do the other side. And then, and then I'll go ahead and fuse them together. Right here I'm going to attach the inner lower lip. And uh, I originally had this piece a uh, center piece. But I went ahead and cut it in half to make things easier. Now the other center piece could also be cut in half and attached uh, now. But I went ahead and left them one piece. You'll see here later on in a little bit. Now that I got both pieces put together I'm going to attach them using the surface of the table to make sure everything is nice and smooth do less sanding later I don't really like to sand either that's not like my least favorite thing to do now that I've got everything attached I'm gonna go ahead and put the inner lower lip like that and then I'm going to do the upper lips which is gonna go together like that now there's a bevel cut on this piece too as you can see two inward angle cuts will give it an outward bevel this one has only got one inward angle cut so it's just going to give it a slight bevel now it's time to carefully attach that to the rest of the head so now that I got both the mouth pieces put together the corner of the mouth I just applied some glue to the surface and I'm going to press those in together just like that so this is basically like surface on surface but you don't want to come out too far you, you want to keep a gap open now I eventually did cut that opening up just a little bit more right here I'm working on the mask and I'm using a pair of scissors to bevel the edges sometimes I like using that better than using a Dremel um, you can also use a uh, Dremel to go and sand everything down make things smoother but you know me I just like to keep things simple and uh, you know whatever now I've been pondering whether or not to paint this or wrap this with fabric but uh, the easiest way to do this would just to be to paint it and then if I had decided to paint it I would have glued it together like right now and then seal and painted everything but I went and did things the hard way and uh, did everything separately but you know it's whatever you kind of figure things out as you go right I'm just saying now I'm using my heat gun to close the um, the pores on the the foam here and 
I'm also using a end cap of a PVC pipe. I think that's three inches to make sure everything is nice and rounded off. I also did some heat forming on the mask itself. Uh, now I'm gonna take a Dremel and go around and clean off the the edges that are a little rough. Some area had some glue that was kind of access, but it looks better now. Uh, I glued on some teeth. This this guy's grill is a little jacked up, but it'll look better once I get it all painted. Now I'm sealing the foam with some Mod Podge. I got some gray paint mixed into it. If you're wondering why my Mod Podge is gray. And here it is after two coats of Mod Podge. I didn't even thin it down, you know, I just threw it on there. Same with the acrylic paint. Now this is probably one of the cheapest paint you can buy. I get these from Walmart and this one is actually Christmas green. I wonder why. I was able to hold it from inside the mouth area so I didn't uh, have any problems holding it. Now these are the paint that I had on hand for the mask. And this is after two coats, maybe three coats of paint. And I figured out that the the gloss paints are more opaque than the matte finishes. This one's matte, so is the purple. But I switched over to using some gloss and it's starting to look a lot better. Here is the head after two coats, maybe three coats of paint. And the mask after three coats of paint looks pretty flat so I'm gonna go back in and add some highlights and some shading just to give it some contrast to make it look cooler uh, I put some highlights on the cheeks the nose and the forehead and I'm using this cheap airbrush that I got from Harbor Freight I think it's like 15 bucks and I'm going in there and throwing on some freckles uh, you know I could switch it up throw some black in there just being really random with it you know nothing fancy now I'm taking some black paint and I'm going in there and doing some sh shadowing on certain areas like inside the mouth uh, under the eyes behind the cheek area so yeah I'm thinking it's starting to look a lot better and I also went back and shaded some of the areas on the mask I've always liked the weathered look. I think the imperfections makes things perfect. You know what I mean? Some white paint and I painted in the teeth and I felt like this was a little too white. I threw in a little bit of gray in there. Now maybe I should have did this before the shading. No, I think I think I did it right. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. This is the only mesh that I actually have on hand. I'm gonna run out and give me some white mesh and put it on the eyes instead because I didn't really like the way this one turned out and this was all that I had on hand so I will definitely make an update video on the, the eyes but yeah so far so groovy and this is what I've got done so far let me know what you guys think in the comment section below I mean do you like it and there's a sneak peek of uh, shredder because you can't have the turtles without the shredder you know what I'm saying and let's not forget about Splinter and April and Casey and that pizza delivery guy. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment. And uh, if this is the kind of stuff you're into, I mean, if you're really into this kind of stuff, then check the links in the description down below. I'll be dropping the shell video and uh, the shredder video um, real soon, so... Make sure you subscribe and uh, hit that notification. Or just check back in with me later. I don't know. Do whatever. Well, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys later.